Travis, you're going to start. And I get under there, right? Okay, uh, the thing is, is that like, with these, you know, blackout stories, you're blacked out, so you don't remember. So I'm going to kind of tell what I remember of me being blacked out. And Trace was there, and then he's going to tell you what really happened. Like, I can remember one time I drank a bottle of Regina wine, uh, 12 to about 16 shots of tequila, and then probably about five pints of beer. And I did, and yeah, I remember it too. I didn't black out. I can tell you everything that happened that weekend. Kurt. So, you know, yeah, usually I don't black out. So I don't understand why I did this time. But anyway, what happened was, I went to uh, the Galaxy and I met a couple <laughs> ladies. And we're going to karaoke. And it was boring as shit. It was really crowded. And none of us got to sing, and we got bored and left. And um, they went home, and they dropped me off at Trace's house. And uh, at this time, Trace lived with his mom, and his mom always has, like, a half gallon of old crow. And, yeah, she's got one right now. We can all go over there tonight and, and just swig some old crow. So... I get up to the house, and as I'm going into the house, I see there's this, like, uh, like a big vat, you know, and it's like <laughs> shit floating in it, and it's been sitting, I've seen it before, but I didn't really know what it was, and I'm like, you know, kind of going, and I guess I swig Old Crow, just straight or something, I don't really know, and Trace kind of says, well, do you want to uh, go to with this big vat of turkey grease and water and pour it under the door of this restaurant. And um, yeah, I'm like, yeah. yeah, of course, I love revenge, you know, and these people haven't even done anything to me, so that's like the perfect time to get revenge on them is because I don't even know them, you know, and like, like, I'll get them before they have a chance to get me, you know. And what it was is I guess there's this restaurant in... Uh, Trace, and, and he's going to probably tell you more about this, but um, I guess there was a golf thing. He worked at Burbati's. They're like a food service thing. And he gets into a conflict with somebody at this place. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I don't have anything to do with it, but, like, I'm going to go out and fuck these people up. And, you know, fuck my friend, man. And so... Uh, it's like raining and one of the windshield wipers stuck and I I kind of remember getting out and just being, you know, like this, like I'll get it for <laughs> And so um you know apparently we I remember kind of these steps going down to the thing and we dumped the grease under the door and I think it worked. Anyway, I don't know. Let's hear from Trace what really happened. Travis Kurtz, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, he's legendary in New Orleans, Louisiana, and he's legendary in Portland, Oregon. Because of that blackout story that he's told, if you guys know people, they, they like to have a good time and blackout. Not very often, but this one time, and they can't hear very well. I always say, do not rob a bank with Modo or Travis. <laughs> Like, I'd be a great man. No, yeah, right, right, right. You just, we were trying to be so secretive with this whole thing, and it's sort of, if I'm going to tell the story kind of going backwards about why Travis blacked out and we had to go get revenge on somebody, and I've never told this story anyway, man. Why we have this fucking grease is because Cat Daddy, he likes to, because he's from the South, like, uh, deep fried turkeys and shit, and I was living with my mother, as Travis mentioned in his story, and we were having some Thanksgiving dinner, and we were going to deep fry a turkey, which I've never done before, and it's so ironic, because it was like, I don't know how many years ago this was. It's been about 1996 or something. Six, yeah, pre-Voodoo pre Donut. Yeah, For sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, this isn't booty donut shit. This is old school. This is Travis Kurtz. But this is yeah, after the X ray. Yeah, yeah. After the X ray. And, and so, anyway, we, we had had in November, because it wasn't super freezing when we did this, this deed. 
Anyway, we had to go on, on Thanksgiving and dump more grease into it to like make sure the turkey dipped into it and all this crap. And we like, we did this whole fucking turkey thing and it sucked. It was terrible. Deep fried turkey sucks. Unless you know what you're doing and it's just, it's just terrible. And it was all over. It's not that good. It's dry. But anyway, so, I mean, I'm getting deep into why we're, Travis is even involved in his blackout story. This thing sat out front. It's this old thing. You saw that thing a bunch. It was like rainwater. In yeah, rain. it, it was like, it was in the Fun. summer when we did it, and it was Thanksgiving. <laughs> so there, there had been rain and, and mold and spiders and, like, everything else. You really don't want this right. thing dumped under the door of your business. So, and it's a restaurant that's in... Fucking Phoenix, Arizona, as far as I'm concerned. But it's it's, it's uh, somewhere kind of between 205 and I-5. And at the at the point, why I got invited in it, you guys, there was this thing called the, the bartender's ball or whatever, the bartender's thing, and it was a scramble and all this shit. And I like golf. I like walking along with golf. So I've been a goddamn caddy. I know how to play golf. I'm not very good at it, but I really like golf courses. They had like a Spanish coffee person that was driving around in the cart and giving you Spanish coffees. And they had pate holes. And whomever team had gotten closer to the hole would win the $7,000 bottle of Scott shit. It was insane. So I go out and it was all a scramble, which means you, you're, they take one shot. I'm a terrible golfer. I fucking hit. And it's straight. It's like 160 yards. And we all agreed... Well, there's your one hit, my first fucking hit. I'm, I'm on, I'm done. And these people behind us, and I swear to God, they're all wearing hey, khakis, hey, hey. khakis, blue fucking shirts, and mustaches. They all had mustaches. And so we kept calling them firemen and cops. One of these cops, the guy, he starts running towards me from like the skeetball thing, and he's like, cool, 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 cool. And I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? And we were at the pate hole, so we, like we were eating pate. That's really important to this whole story. Like, really good pate. Here they come. I've been yelling at them the whole time. And they, these guys started, cool, cool, cool. And this dude, like, picked me up and just tossed me into the grass. Thank God it was a golf course. It was just like, Oof. But, like, he picked me, like, <laughs> bam! Like, he just body slam me into like above the sand trap and into nice grass on the like pate ten hole. He, he was like because at the at the turn he was like don't fucking call me a cop again. Don't fucking tell us that we're firemen. And I was like oh, okay and he was so pissed. And then he picked me up again. This is what really pissed me off. He picked me up again and slammed me into the ground twice. And at that point, man, I was so like, I'm FUCK sure. YOU MOTHERFUCKER God damn it, and went for him. And the greatest thing, the Spanish coffee chick who came around right at that time, she was like, you're done, Trace, let's go. And she just grabbed me and threw me onto the fucking cart, and we left. I got body slammed twice. I'm so confused. Okay, we're going down the steps. Why are you guys so worried? Did, why do you tell this story? He doesn't you know. Blacked it. Out. I don't remember. It was the blackout thing. Baby. And then I got like cut off for talking too much, which sucks. So, which makes me not want to tell the rest of the story. I don't want to tell the rest of the story. I don't want to tell the rest of the story. I want to just say no one will ever just kind of like. You and I know. I mean, I have told you. Yeah, I know. I'm not good enough. I just think like.